Hi guys, welcome to Fresh Reef. This is 7-in-1 wireless water monitor that I bought from Cactoily. I am really curious to see how accurate it is. So let's open the box. Okay, here is the instruction manual. It looks pretty detailed and well written. Okay, I hope I won't need it. <laughs> okay, what's next? This should be the mount for the probe. Some cables. Probably to connect the probe or something. What's hiding in this little box? Okay, a few things. Two magnets to attach probably a probe or display. Yes, this is to be removed and, and the metal plate is to stick on the probe or display. Then we have three suction cups here, probably for attaching the probe or fixing it with this bracket. Next we have two plastic screws that go into this holder for attaching in, uh, it to the edge of the aquarium or something. Then there are chargers, there is one more in the box, okay, then here are two sets of calibration powders that you dissolve in RLDI water to calibrate the pH probe, we've got a standard for pH 4.01, 6.8 and 9.18, oh, that's fine. Here is the probe with cable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here are two high precision platinum probes. These two covers need to be removed. Here are the markers for the maximum and minimum water level where the probe can be submerged. In the middle is the optimum water level. This is where the suction cups will be fixed. The magnets will be attached with the sticky side to the probe, but this is probably more likely to be fixing the display to the outside of the aquarium or a panel. Okay, next we have the display with the buttons. Overall, these are good quality solid plastics for display and the probe. Oh, nice. This is where the display attached to the charger. There is a cable with the USB-C connector that goes here and USB-A on the other end to connect the charger. Okay, put it here. What else we have here? This is a warning that you need to remove the scabs from the probes. And here is the markings for the levels between which the probe is to be submerged. There are holes 
on the road at each level. Well, that should be all we have in the package. It looks interesting and very simple. We will try to wire it all up, see how it fits into the sump and set up the main parameters like temperature, pH and specific gravity if we need to. So this is the sump where the probe will be placed. Firstly, we remove these covers. Okay, there is a protective solution in them. We will attach the suction caps. And the probe is ready to be installed in the sump. Here is the water level in the sump, which is stable. So we will position the probe so that it's somewhere between the market levels. I will put this tubing aside. This is tubing from dosing pump that I use to dose the tropic marine all in one. Yes. Okay. Well, I think it, the probe is holding. Okay. One more time. Okay. Now I will plug this probe in the socket and we'll plug in the display as well. Done. Oh, nice, colorful. The display slide up. Let's wait for the data to load. Yes, we are there. We are mainly interested in specific gravity and pH. The other values are not so important for a marine aquarium, maybe more for a freshwater aquarium when we need specifically prepared water, for example for fish spawning. The values seem to be stable. Here I glued metal plates that attach to the magnets on the control panel, which I glued there. You can see it here. This is how easy it is to attach the display to the panel. This is the advantage of the wireless connection to the probe. Okay, let's look at the values. But as I can see, specific gravity is incorrect. And also the pH seems to be low. And let's also check the temperature. So let's set the specific gravity first. Click the middle button. Go to EC set. Confirm button. And select the last option SG adjustment. Okay, okay, uh, here you can see that it is set to 1.020 from the factory. So we need to increase the value with this button. We will increase the value to 1.025, which I have in the aquarium. And I verified it with the calibrated refractometer before. Then the value is correct. Confirm and return to the main display. We see that the value is correct, 1.025, but the pH is incorrect, so we will have to adjust it. There is definitely a higher pH than 747 in the aquarium. Back to aquarium. This is a professional pH probe in the aquarium here. It's freshly calibrated. We can see that pH is uh, 7.96. And uh, Cactorelli shows 7.44, so it's clear that it's inaccurately set. The difference is over 0.5. Yes, 
yes this tester shows 7.96 again yes 7.44 let's check temperature some more cactus 24 tester 24 perfect So specific gravity is fine, but we need to adjust uh, pH. Okay, so we need to adjust uh, pH. So click the middle bit button. Select the very first option pH set. There are three options. The first two are when we want to calibrate the probe with the cal included standards, but we will select the last one, pH adjustment, because we know the excess value. Well, here we see the measure values of 7.44, which we have to increase to 7.96 which we measured with a professional pH tester. With the right button, we increase the value gradually to 7.96. That's it, 7.96. Well, we will confirm with OK. We will go back to main display and we can see that the value is now correct. Simple done. And one final tip, if you want to turn off the display so that it doesn't light up not at night, for example, press the left button, hold for a moment, release, done. And if you want to turn the display back on, Press the left button, hold and release, and voila, the display is back on. It's simple. So here we have the Cactuel 7-in-1 wireless monitor after a couple of days. The values have stabilized. They are fine, so I'm satisfied. In conclusion, I have to say this is really good product to monitor the current readings in the aquarium. Too bad it doesn't have its own app on the phone to track the trend of changing values. But I still think it's a great tool for monitoring water quality in freshwater or, or reef aquarium. So I definitely buy another one. That's all. Thank you for watching and adios amigos.